Hi, I'm going to do a little review of this hotel I'm staying at in Rapid City, South Dakota. It's the Alex Johnson Hotel. Uh, decided I'd drive down from Dickinson, which is about a three and a half to four hour drive. And I'm going to go see Mount Rushmore tomorrow. I guess I decided to stay here at the Alex Johnson because it seemed unique. It's not a chain like Holiday Inn. It's a historic hotel that was built around 1928 by Johnson who owned a railroad company. Um, Anyway, so I looked online and the pictures seemed very Art Deco, 1920s, like a different style. It seemed to add a place, it, you know, like not something I'd find in South Dakota. And then it had the, it has this rooftop sky bar. And then there's talk of it being haunted. I mean, if you look at all the, they had these uh, black and white pictures of you know, the old bellboys and housekeepers and <laughs> the, the housekeepers look like they're belonging in an insane asylum. I mean, it's just the way it looks in, from a black and white picture and kind of creepy. And this is the standard full, full bed, full size room. And then they said, where do I... Would it rather be on a low floor or higher floor? And I, of course, I want to be on a higher floor because I'm from New York City and living out here in the Dakotas, you know, we get skyscrapers. So, and I wanted to see a view. So I, I took the ninth floor. Ninth floor, so it's a 10th story building. So I'm on nine. I think 10 is just the sky bar, so this is as high as I can go. Um, this is Rapid City at night, and I didn't realize how big Rapid City is. Dickinson is around maybe 20,000 people, and Rapid City is in the 60,000s. Um, that's the insurance, insurance, insurance building headquarters. It's very artsy. There's this alleyway here with graffiti and murals painted, and you can actually, uh, well, it says you have, to, you have to contact the city for permission, and and uh, I guess there's a relationship between the businesses and the city, and you can do murals. And so this standard, you know, small room was $170. which is actually cheaper than anything I saw online. I mean, the online prices for this hotel. I, I was thinking maybe I'd... When I actually, I did quickly look online and online I couldn't find anything lower than $200. I think it says 220 for this uh, hotel room. But... It came out to be 170 when I got here. And it's the 4th of July weekend. It's the... You get this little... You get these discounts. Buy one, get one free at the Starbucks. Buy one, get one free at the Patio Neal's Irish Pub. 10% discount at the Patio Neal's Irish Pub. 10% discount at that Chubby Chipmunk. Um, chocolate looks like a chocolate truffle Peruvian chocolate store and then oh and then by being a guest I get access to the sky bar and all I did was go up there and take a picture and really I guess this could be a nice romantic place to take a date or if you know I was in a relationship But, you know, just hang around by myself, you know, 
me being from New York City and I, don't know, I guess I, I guess I, I was just attracted by the idea of a unique historic place but uh, I, don't know. I mean it wasn't I'm not completely thrilled I'd have to go with you know maybe a three star ra rating if I, and oh now by the way it's called the Alex Johnson Hotel but now it's actually a franchise of the Hilton Hotels The Rushmore Hotel is the only one I went to to ask about, and it was about 200, yeah, 240 for last night, and then 270 for Saturday night. Forget it. I'm going to sleep in my car if I'm here tonight. Um, oh, and then North by Northwest, there was an Alfred Hitchcock movie that was made. And it's famous for having that scene where the female lead is dangling from one of the president's faces on Mount Rushmore. And I think Family Guy made a spoof of it. I think, I'm pretty sure it was North by Northwest. So that movie takes place around this area, Mount Rushmore. And during that time, again on Wikipedia, it was known as the Sheraton Hotel. And they referenced this hotel in that movie. So now I want to go see that movie. They referenced this hotel as the Sheraton. Uh, I'm from New York, so I think the Bronx alone has over maybe, maybe close to two million, if not more, people. And Dickinson, I mean, that's, I mean, it's way more than just, than even entire, the entire state of, you know, North Dakota. But Dickinson has 20,000. I think they had 30 during the boom, but all, everyone left, you know, once the oil um, wasn't as profitable. Now they must have him like 20,000, but it definitely doesn't feel like this when I got here. It felt like that excitement of being in a place you, you know nothing about, and it seemed friendlier than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a cowboy town and like it's more like a um, well it just seems like a city I mean, it is a city it's you know basically the closest thing they have to a, you know a metropolitan hub if you will this is where they have everything they had a big it's big uh, um, it's the Rushmore Civic Center and that's where I walked into and found a lot of Information because he's probably bored of listening to me. But the one thing I say is, so I, I showed up with this tripping Walmart tie dye shirt, and I guess you can see it. These bright yellow sneakers. Anyway, <laughs> and I fit in perfectly in that alley there. Um. And even the sky bar, like, they don't care. I didn't think about I thought maybe there'd be a dress code, but it, it seems, I don't know. I can't, I don't really know. I can't really tell, but it seems hipper than I thought it would be. Oh, and then since I, I guess I made this more about, I made this more than just uh, Alex Johnson specific. Um, I also went down to that fire, firehouse bar, firehouse grill. There's a fire. Basically, a big restaurant bar with an outdoor patio, and what actually drew my attention was all the live music. There was a guy singing um, one of these alternative songs, and um, I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. And then so there was someone else singing a, um, Sublime. So anyway, so th this firehouse bar. Like, it's, it's an actual, look. I mean, I guess it used to be a firehouse. And it turns it into a bar, or I don't know how long it's been a bar, and a brewery. So all their beer, they make themselves. So I went down there and had a burger, and it was pretty good. And the only thing I'm going to say is that their stout shake, which was a dessert item, says ice cream, 
and stout and their own which is their own homemade home brewed stout and all it really was was the stout and a carton of I don't know half and half or creamer and then crushed ice in it and then you end up drinking and crunching ice and if it says ice cream they should put ice cream in it and then the guy said he would not charge me for it and then I didn't realize so after I was I paid him signed and walked away but it looks like he did charge me and it didn't have any of the uh, the items I ordered listed uh, you know like didn't but I mean I know the price of the burger the burger was about ten dollars and eleven bucks and then I guess <laughs> I'm just saying that that stout whatever it was called the stout shake could have been a lot better for just I mean how hard is it just fucking get some ice cream whatever mono and diglycerides the cheapest ice cream would taste a lot better than me crunching down on ice from an ice machine and then don't tell me you're gonna not charge me for it when because I, I don't enjoy it and then I end up paying for it but that's it Take care, Rapid City, 2017.